The first one says the strong move of God. The strong move of God. There is definitely a very strong move of God in the following denominations, especially in South Africa. We know South Africa, uh, of recent, there's been a lot of violence centering around taverns and other public spaces. But uh, the Holy Spirit says there's definitely a very strong move of God in the following denominations. The list is not exhaustive, but uh, I'm mentioning denominations that I clearly saw in the Spirit. The first one is the Methodist change. The Methodist change. Watch out for that change. The Methodist church in South Africa. There is a very serious move of God in there. I was showing, my, because there is a message that I released in the past, you remember, where I mentioned the Methodist among other denominations, that the Holy Spirit was going to move. And uh, I was, we were watching a certain video with the evangelist, my wife, Mrs. Indlo. And uh, I, I mean, you could tell that these people are in the spirit. Because you can't have a church where there are nearly a thousand people and they are all singing like one person. Even if they are singing from a hymn book. You, you could tell that these people are in one accord. In one accord. And some of those people are very old. They are old enough that I, would, I wouldn't be even their first point. But you see old people who are more than 70 years old dancing. Dancing, not dancing in the flesh. You can tell things of the spirit and things of the flesh. So, watch out for the Methodist church, especially in South Africa. There is a very serious spiritual awakening there. I'm not talking about something which is coming. I'm talking about something which is happening even right now. What is moving in that church? He is moving. And they've got the advantage of structures and order. Because in denominations, there is a lot of order. And they've got structures. They've got buildings. They've got structures. They've got order. They've got a proper line of authority. Things are not up as that like what we sometimes see in Pentecostal churches. So watch out for the Methodist church. There are so many ministries which will be founded by people who are currently there. Some of those people God will release them from the Methodist church to start Pentecostal and apostolic-like ministries from within the Methodist church in South Africa. There. Even as I'm talking, the Holy Spirit is telling me that it has already happened for some. But many more will remain. Many more will remain within that denomination because God is moving. And then the other denominations where God is moving in South Africa is the Reformed Church. The Reformed Church. And the Presbyterian Church. The Apostolic Faith Mission. That one is a Pentecostal church. But I saw a very strong move of God within the Apostolic Faith Mission in South Africa. The Anglican Church. <laughs> it's, a, it's an old, classical, if you want, kind of denomination. But what is moving there? The Holy Spirit was telling me when I was praying in the morning that there are people who are now able to see visions and who are able to prophesy within the Anglican Church who are going deep into the realms of the Spirit, deeper than where we have ever reached as apostolic and Pentecostal Christians. So it's an invitation for us to, uh, to up our game. And also among other churches that teach holiness, salvation, and the second coming of Jesus Christ. But as I've said, the move of the Holy Spirit is strong. It is strongest and most visible or pronounced within the Methodist Church in South Africa. And it is characterized by, number one, high levels of supernatural joy. Joy which is not natural. Joy which you can tell that these people have got what? Supernatural joy. Number two, simple childlike release and expression in the manifest presence of God. Number three, praise and worship in one accord or harmony. 
Number four, dynamic preaching of lively and reviving sermons in different languages. Five, desire to stay in the presence of God for longer periods of time, even for days, to camp. They are doing a lot of those camps. An average Pentecostal is afraid of a camp meeting when it is declared. But in this denomination, the Methodist Church, they are not afraid of those because they know God will be moving. Number six, a strong urge to invest more time in prayer and also sometimes in fasting. There are some there, especially those who are intercessors, who feel the urge to fast and to pray more, to invest more in prayer, not to be seen to be prayer warriors, but as a way of re releasing the pattern in their hearts. Number seven, openness to the gifts of the Spirit like prophets, healing, word of knowledge, and word of wisdom. So that's the message. It's a challenge to us in Zimbabwe to raise the standard. And in many other countries, it's a challenge to us to raise the what? So it means as evil is also rising in South Africa, God is also what? Moving. God is also what? What is also what? Yes, there is a revival in South Africa. I say that without any shadow of doubt. That there is a spiritual awakening in South Africa. Right now as we are talking, right now, this hour, this minute as I'm talking, there is a spiritual awakening. For those who are sensitive to the Spirit of God, they know that what I'm declaring is true. I'm not speaking a wish. There is a serious spiritual awakening. You will see the videos that we will post online when I go and preach in South Africa. You will see it. You will see it. Very soon we will go to South Africa there. And when we go there, you will see that ah, the pastor was telling us the truth. There is a stronger move of God in South Africa. Hallelujah.